so welcome back aliens i'm navin reddy from thesco learnings and in the last video we have seen how to create functions how to create function expression and everything is working when you when you when you worked only with kotlin now what i'm doing in this in this video is you know i'm trying to create a java class now the question is if you have a java class which has a main method and in fact we have we have uh, i have told you before that java and kotlin they are 100% interoperable which means you can call the methods of java from kotlin which we have seen before what if i want to call the functions of kotlin in java can we do that i want to call those functions from here now first of all uh, will this function work because this function returns a met uh, expression right does it support with java of course it should right because ultimately your kotlin codes get converted into java code right or which is a byte code not java code but then byte code so java should know about this thing then how can you do this so let let me just call a method called as add so i want to call this method our uh, function add again you can call this as function or method depend upon where you want to go okay i want to call this add now again i want to see in the split screen so what i'll do is i will right click here i will say split vertically so we got two screens here we got left hand side and right hand side let me just reduce this screen a bit okay so we got these two screens right so what i do is i want to call uh okay uh, on both the side i got the same code i don't want that i want this code to be here come on oh it's not movable okay ignore so let's keep this one code here i want to call this this code from here now how do you do that how do you call this code from here so how do you call this add now there are two ways right whenever whenever you want to call a methods from java of either it can be a static method or it can be non static methods now if it is static method which means you have to create a you can use a class name and if it is a non static method you have to create object of a class ultimately you need to create a class right <laughs> because that's the thing you have to you, you have to use a class to create an object because as you can see in this code we don't have a class but then if you see the if if you see the byte code of this if you see the byte code of this file which is first code dot kd let's see the byte code of just to get the understanding what should be the class name of, of which you can create this object so i will go back to my projects where where do I, where I have a project so I, it is idea projects in which i have a demo folder inside this demo i can see i have out in in production demo can you see that we have a class file for this byte code uh, first code dot kd and the byte the file name itself is first code kd that means your class name here so even if you don't mention the class name for this all this thing gets inside your class right and the class name is first code kd dot class that means i just have to create object of first code kt and then you can call this add but hold on you need object when you want to uh, when you want to create uh, when you want to call non static methods right but what if i say this methods here are static methods again we don't use static keyword in kotlin we don't have that keyword here example even if you try to do that even if you say static you know your uh, kotlin compiler will give you some bad words it will not support it now by by default they are by, by default they are static so what you can do is you can simply use the class name which is first code dot i mean first code kt dot add so you can call directly uh, call those methods but then again you have to pass two parameters right so you can say 5 and 8 you're passing those two parameters and you're calling them again ignore this thing for time bin which is a and b again that's not a part of your syntax okay if i copy this line if i paste it somewhere else i will it will not be including a and b it is just a visual thing which is giving it to you uh, i i don't know where to paste it now uh should i paste it here okay can you see that when you paste it it is it's it's not doing that a and b together okay this is just a visual thing which is given by your intellij ide okay but you are passing 5 and 8 because in java you cannot pass names with the variables right so we we are passing 5 and 8 let's verify this let's right click this uh here okay wait here and say okay wait you have run okay so can you see that we got run main and the moment i run this code oh i'm not getting an output because my my bad i am not printing the value right so i should take the value somewhere i will say int result equal to uh, i'm showing that value there and we'll print the output so we'll we'll print the result and let's run this now let's see what happens and we got 13 right that's what we wanted that means we can call this functions with the help of a class name but then the class name would be your file name so your file name itself is first code dot kt which is small k here but then again you know the camel kissing rule right so you this capital this k becomes capital here so that's awesome right so you can call the functions as well 
but I just have one issue here. I don't like this file name. Okay, see, file name is first code KT makes sense, but then why your class name is KT? People who love Java, of course, they will not love this KT in, in the file name, right? They want some readable file name. So what I will do is I can change this, this file name here. But how? How can you change the class name? Uh, it's actually very easy. You have to use some annotations. Again, uh, when it comes to Java, when it comes to Kotlin, we will be, we'll be seeing some annotations. One of the annotations here is at the rate file. Now, and at, with the help of file, it has, uh, it has one particular annotation, which is uh, JVM name. This is the annotation we have to use. And in this annotation, if you mention the name, example, if I mention the name as first. So when I, the moment I say first here, let's go back to my uh, four files. Oh, it is not yet compiled or what? Let me just go back once. Out production demo. Oh, I should run this code, I guess. Let's right click and run. Okay, can you see that we got a bytecode which is now first dot class. So that means if you mention your, if you mention a JVM name annotation here with with the help of first, it means it it means that it will change your class name from first code kt to first. And now wherever you want to use that class, you can you can directly use of you can directly use first. That means if you don't mention this annotation here, by default the annotation would be uh, the class name would be first code kt. So I hope you got the idea how to call a function from Java as well. And this is the awesome thing, right? You can call Kotlin code from Java and Java code from Kotlin. And that's why Java has a long life. If you're, if, if you're anything, I mean, if you're thinking that Java is losing its uh, power, then you're not. Kotlin is just making Java better. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. So do subscribe and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.